Hi. Welcome back to my channel. This is Professor Jung of Easy and Smart Engineering. In this video, we will briefly look at the basic operation and design tips of the Power MOSFET device, a basic device in power electronics field. This chart shows the buck converter circuit, which is a type of DC-DC converter. As you know, the basic element of the buck converter can also be a MOSFET. In this chart I'll show two types of MOSFET classified by rated voltage and rated current. As seen in the picture, this MOSFET will be a 1200 volt, 45 ampere class MOSFET. The size of MOSFET should be approximately 2 cm long and 1.6 cm wide. And is configured like this for heat dissipation. This is a very small SMD type MOSFET and will be a device used for small amounts of power. Like this, we will have a structure that dissipates heat from the bottom. Meanwhile, a device with two MOSFET of one IC type is structured like this, and it will be a small rated current MOSFET with a rated voltage of 20 volts and a current rating of 5.2 amperes. On the other hand, in the MOSFET mainly used in inverters, two MOSFETs can form one pole. The equivalent circuit forming one pole is as shown in this circuit, right? A MOSFET with a large capacity, that is, 1200V, 100 ampere class, will have a size of 5 cm, 9 cm, and a height of about 2 cm. In this chart, we will look at the on and off operation of the power MOSFET. This will be the equivalent symbol for power MOSFET. In this MOSFET symbol, the drain, gate, and source terminals should be like this, right? A diode is generally inserted between the drain and source like this during the manufacturing process. What happens when you try to turn on the power MOSFET in a situation like this? You can apply a voltage greater than the threshold voltage between the gate and source terminals. In most cases, the threshold voltage of a MOSFET is around 2 to 3 volts, so we need to apply a voltage greater than this voltage between the gate and source, right? Therefore, applying voltage will be approximately about 15 voltages or 12 voltages. Like this. Can I apply a voltage greater than the threshold voltage between the gate and source? The drain and source terminals will turn on. However, in reality, there will be resistance between the drain and the source like this. That is, RDS is called on resistance of the MOSFET and RDS should be displayed like this. On the other hand, since the diode is also attached like this, if a voltage greater than the threshold voltage between the gate and source is applied, a circuit with a resistor and diode connected in parallel between the drain and source will be formed. Then let's take a look at off operation of the MOSFET this time. How do I turn the MOSFET off? To turn off the MOSFET, apply a voltage lower than the threshold voltage between the gate and source terminals. Since the threshold voltage of the MOSFET is approximately 2 to 3 volt. In most cases, you can apply 0 volts or apply minus voltage. In other words, you can apply 0 volts or minus 5 volts between the gate and source terminals, right? At this time, the power MOSFET is turned off, so the ohm resistance will be very large. Therefore, only a diode will exist between the drain and source in the MOSFET. In the DC-DC converter circuit, we will learn in chapter 3, this diode will always be turned off. Therefore, this diode will not always be on. If you use the inverter in chapter 5. If you learn, you will be able to make this diode work, right? Also, when applied to a converter that operates at high frequencies, such as a resonant converter, this internal diode of the MOSFET can operate on and off. Therefore, you should consider internal diode as well as MOSFET. In this chart, we will look at what factors should be considered when selecting a MOSFET. First, when the MOSFET is turned off, what happens to the state of the MOSFET? When the MOSFET is turned off, voltage may be applied between the drain and source terminals of the MOSFET. At this time, voltage is applied between the drain and source terminals, and the voltage that the MOSFET can withstand may vary depending on the MOSFET. At this time, when voltage is applied between the drain and source terminals of the MOSFET, the rated voltage of the MOSFET is the maximum voltage that the MOSFET can withstand without being destroyed. This is the maximum voltage that can be tolerated between drain and source, right? There can't be a minus voltage between the drain and the source. There's a diode here, right? 
when minus voltage is applied, the diode turns on, so minus voltage cannot be applied. The rated voltage of the MOSFET will be a very important consideration when selecting a MOSFET. So, how do you select the rated voltage of the MOSFET? There will be a maximum voltage that can be applied between the drain and source of a MOSFET in a circuit. If you know this maximum voltage, you can use a MOSFET that is approximately twice that voltage. In some cases, you may want to select a MOSFET with a rated voltage of 1.5 times the maximum applied voltage. Now, let me talk about the design considerations of the power MOSFET when it is turned on. Uh, what happens when the power MOSFET turns on? In this way, current can flow between the drain and source. Of course, it's good to know that it can flow in the opposite direction. When the MOSFET is turned on, there is resistance between the drain and source, so current can flow in any direction. In the converter circuit in Chapter 3, the current direction is always positive, so the current can only flow from the drain to the source. Then, generally, the maximum continuous current that can be withstood between the drain and source of the MOSFET at 25 degrees will be the rated current of the MOSFET. At this time, the junction temperature within the MOSFET must be maintained at 25 degrees for the device to be able to withstand it, right? Of course, when the MOSFET is turned on by applying a voltage between the gate and source, there may be resistance between the drain and source terminals, right? This resistance is called on resistance, and when current flows, power is consumed in this resistance. If you know the current flowing through the MOSFET, how do you calculate the power loss in on resistance? Just multiply the ohm resistance by the square of the RMS current. Then, if the resistance is large, the efficiency may decrease. Therefore, when determining the rated current of a MOSFET, it should not be set at 2 to 3 times the maximum flowing current like a diode, and the power consumption of the resistor should also be taken into consideration when determining the rated current. Because the power dissipated in the ohm resistance is large, the MOSFET can be destroyed it greatly affects the efficiency of the converter. Therefore, when looking at the design considerations of power MOSFETs, the rated voltage should be considered first, right? The rated current must be taken into consideration. Additionally, MOSFET on resistance is also a consideration. Meanwhile, what are the types of power MOSFET? Generally, there are mostly used silicon type MOSFET and gallium night MOSFET with very fast switching speed. Gallium night MOSFET is like this. For gallium night MOSFET, there is basically no internal diode in the MOSFET. Therefore, if gallium night MOSFETs are used in DC DC converters, it will be possible to operate the converter at very high frequencies. Of course, when used as an inverter or when an internal diode is needed, a diode with a fast switching speed must be connected in parallel to the MOSFET to fast frequency operation of the inverter. Meanwhile, there may be a silicon carbide MOSFET. When having large power capacity due to the fast switching speed of the internal diode. Therefore, silicon carbide MOSFET can also be widely used for high frequency operating converter or inverter. Now, this time we will learn about the basics of MOSFET. Also, we looked at design considerations of the MOSFET as well as the types of the MOSFET and applications. Thank you for watching my channel.